You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. I... Hmm? Hey, y'all. So, it is 9.44. So, today we're going to be making a jersey outfit. We see these, like, on Facebook and stuff. But, like, don't nobody be here to sell them. Not that I know of. If they do, then I don't really, I've never done one, so we're gonna kind of like do this together. See where it goes. So, I really want this number. No offense to him. This was the cheapest one I could find because, like I said, this is my first time doing it. I wasn't gonna pay 90 50 None of that for a jersey that I'm gonna cut. So boom, twenty dollars, baby. I don't know what is it. Do you hear me? No, I'm playing. But yeah, so. So here I got the jersey laid out, and now I'm gonna show you what I used to make this. So you need some push pins, some safety pins, some buttons for the top, some sewing needles. Some thread, unless you have a sewing machine, and some scissors. And then you'll also need a couple yards of fabric for the under part of the skirt. And you'll need a measure tape so you could take your measurements. And y'all don't need this, but I used my skirt I already had as like a template to cut the pieces out. So I was using this, whatever I could get a clean cut. So now all you're gonna do is start and cut the sleeves on and you're gonna both sleeves cut off and I cut off the neck part as well. So after you get done cutting it, I just place them to the side. And now I'm going to cut the jersey on both sides down the middle. So that way I can have the two pieces for the skirt. And y'all be needing these numbers as well. So go ahead and cut them out too. And then when you have both pieces, just set them to the side. And now what I did is turn the jersey over and I'm going to cut out the name. It has a little box around it, so just go ahead and cut around the box. And then I took my numbers as well and I'm just cleaning them up a little bit so that way I could have them ready on the side for the top. And now I'm just going to lay my skirt down. And I pinned this together so that way it didn't move. And I also was doing this on the floor on top of my rug. So the pins just went in there. So that's why you could see it wasn't moving anywhere. And all you're going to do is just like over exaggerate the cut. So that way, you know, you always want to cut less than more because you could always cut more but you can't cut less so here i am cutting out the top and cleaning up the sides as well and i used one of these bra pads from like a sports bra and i'm just gonna be using it as a template for the top so if you have one you you should use it because it'll be closer to the size that you're actually going to need. I know you could probably use just like a regular bra as well, but I had one of these, so I went ahead and used it. And now I'm just going to cut out this, and you're gonna repeat this, I wanna say three more times, because you're going to need four pieces in total for the top.
So here you can see I'm kind of just playing around with it, just trying to see and get an idea of how it will look. So I went ahead and cut out a square from the extra cloth we had, and I'm just going to, like I said, cut out two more pieces. And I didn't do these so perfect because of the fact that this wasn't just something I was gonna just really wear. I was just wearing it to a jersey party, like it was like a last minute thing. And I wanted to record myself doing it so that way, in case anybody else wanted to know how I did it without a sewing machine. So now, as you can see, I'm just sitting here and I'm sewing my side of my skirt together. I put some pins in it so that way it wouldn't move and I hand sewed it. And I wanna say it maybe took me about 30 minutes. But yeah, if you're gonna do this, I recommend using a sewing machine because like I said, this took me a while. And now I'm just making little holes. I went ahead and lined up the skirts so that way they would be even and I cut the holes at the same time. So you can see here I'm just pinning it down and cutting the excess off because my skirt was too long. I was supposed to cut this off earlier, but I forgot. So I'm just doing it now. And I'm just gonna take this bathing suit string I had. It was like for one of the bottoms. And I had only wore it like a couple times. I didn't really like it. So it was perfect for this because you know, bathing suit strings are stretchy. So it just ended up working out perfectly. So all I did was just lace it up. And that was pretty much it for the skirt. I ended up not doing the under layers or putting a waistband. But I definitely do recommend doing that because my skirt was like slipping all over the place. So off camera, I went ahead and put my top together. And then all I did was take some liquid stitch to apply the patches onto the bra top. I definitely recommend doing this, y'all. It stuck together so well. Like, even I tried to, like, take it off, and it was not going nowhere. So I was like, okay, I'm going to just leave it. And I also used the liquid stitch to attach the, the strings to the back of the bra because of how good it worked. And this had took me so long. Like, at this point, it was already late, and I was tired. So I went ahead and did that, and I sewed it on a little bit. And now here you're seeing I'm just sewing on the buttons onto the back and make sure it fits you before you do this. So that's pretty much it. I ended up actually not recording like an outro or like doing like a finished uh, video. I don't know why, but yeah, that's all I did. I stole three buttons on and here's how it looks with me wearing it. It was so cute, I love this outfit. I definitely recommend taking your time if you do decide to do this. Because like I said, this is just a last minute thing. But thank y'all for watching. You made it this far. And if y'all try it, let me know.